The NG Show is brought to you by... Are you tired of online videos like these? Before we learn about Angular 2, I will reinstall Windows XP. Introducing HiRes.io, the revolutionary online school that will make you laugh while learning your favorite Angular material in the fastest way possible. Stop getting bored and frustrated and start having the time of your life <laughs> learning Angular. because we renamed all those things he was making fun of. Yeah, we're gonna put Shy out of business, sorry. Dan Hooper. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the NG Show. Uh, I'm your host, Chai Resnick, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, the founder of HiRes.io. Um, I'm a family guy. Um, I'm a GDE, a Google Developer Expert, um, a worldwide public speaker, <laughs> and the president of Albania, <laughs> and I'm a serial wedding crasher, okay? And uh, by the way, this is not Photoshop. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know these people, okay? <laughs> so today's story is about developers and emotions. Two words that usually go together like dogs and eyebrow pencils. <laughs> they don't. So, but there's one thing that makes them go together, and that thing is... Angular 2. Angular 2. Angular 2. Angular 2.0. Angular 2. Yes, Angular 2. It first uh, got mentioned in a uh, Google uh, f uh, group post uh, back in May 2013. And ever since then, we uh, started a journey an emotional journey towards Angular 2, uh, and let's, uh, let's, let's see the first emotion that we had in this journey. The first one was excitement, and why excitement, you ask? Frankly, because we love the Angular team. And uh, the f first people that we fell in love with were Brad, Igor, and of course, Angular's creator, Mishko Heavery. And uh, we love Mishko so much that we let him get away with calling himself the father of Angular on his Twitter account. <laughs> Heck, we love you so much he can call himself Mishko, mother of dragons, and we we'll still be cool with that. <laughs> but, uh, so, we love Mishko so much, uh, when he gets excited about, about something, we all get excited about it. And this is what he had to say about Angular 2. I've been so excited about Angular 2. Everybody who will listen, I tell them how excited I am. So I'm going to tell all of you now how excited I am about Angular 2. Uh, I'm super excited about this whole shadow down thing. It's hard for me to explain, but like, it's going to be cool. Trust me on this one. I cannot express to you just how excited I am about zones. It is the bee's knees. <laughs> what? It is the bee's knees. Okay, Mishko, if you say, it is the bee's knees. <laughs> but as long as you're excited, we are excited. So are you guys excited about Angular 2? Yeah. Good, because it's time for a shirt time. They told me not to leave the table, so here you go. And... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, as <laughs> our first emotion, we got the level up, okay? This was the start of the journey. But soon came the second emotion, which was panic. And 
See if you can guess why. So what's new in Angular 2? So there's no template, there's no filters. We killed the controller. Oh my god, everything has changed. The difference is going to be so big. We killed Angular module as well. The config phase is gone. Dollar scope has passed away. Transclusion is not there. All the event system are gone. No more ng click, no more ng model. All those directors I just named, gone. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> I like how Mishko is, is like a Jedi. All what you know is gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, should we start? Uh, what, what, what? Yeah. So, soon uh, after, uh, we had some questions about this panic. Between, should we start with Angular 1 and then think about migrating to Angular 2? Because we're kind of lost. What version do you think would be best to start with right now? I'm new to Angular. Should I learn NG1? Or what if I want to go into production soon? Uh, I'm only 10 years old, and I want to know if Angular 2 will be easier than Angular 1. <laughs> So, uh, to appeal to the younger crowd, the, the core team started answering questions using rap music. The filter filter is filter, but the filter the pipe is actually a formatter, so it's really a formatter filter. You follow? <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> that didn't help uh, so much to the panic level. <laughs> so then the core team uh, thought of, about a brilliant idea to recruit one of the nicest people in the whole world. I'm talking about Martin Probst. Okay, just look at how he tells you everything you know about Angular is gone. We have to be honest, it, it is actually a rewrite. We really rewrote Angular 1 from the ground up into Angular 2. Everything changes. and. You know, oh no, right? This is happening. Oh no, panic. <laughs> oh no, panic. <laughs> He's so nice, he can tell me my house is on fire and I'll still be cool with it. <laughs> oh no, Martin, we're falling in the skies with no parachute. Oh no, panic. <laughs> so that helped a bit lowering the panic level. Which uh, leads us to the third uh, inevitable emotion, impatience, <laughs> okay? So, um, yeah, the more we heard uh, how Angular 2 is not ready yet, the more uh, we want to ask... Finally, like, when can we get our hands onto the final version of 2.x? A lot of people ask me, hey, yes, Brad, when will Angular 2 be done? You know that I love answering this question. Could you provide expected schedule for 2.0 release? RC, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Which Brad uh, always used to answer with... Again, you know, I've been really poor at predicting the future. Let me yeah, I'm not good at predicting the future. I think, like, we try to predict the future, and I hate predicting the future. Yeah, our crystal ball about predicting the future, um, it's not good. <laughs> Where's Brad? Brad, you wanna, wanna try this one? It's 2.0. It got zones in it, and as you know, it is the bee's knees. Okay, yeah, so, um, okay, so, uh, disappointed by the, uh, uh, not being able to predict the future, they turned to the one man who might just help them figure out when is Angular 2 going to be released. Your team, and so I'd actually like to invite Uri Goldstein to, to the stage to talk about some of the work he's done. Yes, my personal friend Uri Goldstein, the Angular Meteor guy, also known as NG Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it's a real picture, okay. So, uh, so even he couldn't predict the future or when is the release date. So we were left with only one choice, to try and figure out when 
it will get released ourselves. Try to assess the number of features and by that, the year of the release. So uh, let's go back to, two, uh, to 2014, to NG Europe, uh, NG Europe uh, when they first announced the development of Angular 2. What are these new ingredients in Angular 2? We're going to talk about mobile, we'll talk about performance, and scale. Okay, let's see. So, we have, uh, we're talking about uh, mobile, okay, so, uh, okay, uh, and we're talking about performance, and it should be like uh, scale, okay, so we're talking about like, I don't know, one year of, de of development, and it should be done by uh, 2015 probably, right? But then came 2015. There's a couple things that we think we can do to actually push our abilities even further. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's talk about server side. Wait, what? So we have done a lot of things in Angular 2 to make it possible to run things on a server. This is a much more generic framework. It is very high priority for us to have lazy loading. It's an internationalization. There's still a lot of stuff we need to do with regards to the payload size. Since ngconf, we actually didn't know that we were going to do this. Uh, it's kind of exciting when fun things like that happen. <laughs> yeah, exciting. <laughs> or shall I say, panic. <laughs> Yeah, so, <laughs> guys, just release the framework already, okay? Enough with the, with the feature. Look at all this feature, okay? I, we were talking about, like, like uh, I don't know, like, another year of, uh, of, of development, and, and we just want to just release the framework and, and leave it with these features, okay? And then add more afterwards. So we'll be done by 2016, and that's it, okay? 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 is that we're building a command line interface. Angular CLI. Material design with component router. Observables. You can do functional reactive programming. Could we move the framework itself into the web worker? Finding an XML template with data to create a native UI component view. I am super... I am super... Sorry. Wait. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping. Okay. So. Stop. Okay. I am super. Die. Okay. So. Um, uh, at, this, at this moment, uh, in that point in time, uh, even Brad didn't seem too happy about the way Angular is going. I am super excited about Angular going from a wonderful web desktop experience to a cross-platform development <laughs> environment. <laughs> Yep, not too happy about it. So, so the impatience uh, rate is higher, okay, no? No, okay, what the? I'm okay, we've been there. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I stand, stood up. Okay, so, um, so uh, since then uh, we had Angular Connect, and by the end of 2015, and uh, not all hope was lost because there were rumors about a big announcement: Angular Beta is going to get out. And in the keynote, in the morning of the keynote, the whispers began: Is it out? Is it final? Will they announce Angular Beta? Shh! Brad is coming up to the stage. I want to start by checking in on where Angular is in the sort of arc of our story. Oh, come on, Brad. Is it out? Just say it already. Is it out? <laughs> I hope you're as excited as I am about what's coming down the path for Angular 2. 
bread. Come on, don't tease us. Just tell us, is it out? And then, by the end of the keynote, this happened. Thanks, Jules. We're almost done. The big question I always get asked is when? When will Angular 2 be ready? We really wanted to come up here and say we're at beta. We're not quite there. But we're really close. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Brett, let, let me show you how this moment felt for the rest of the world. We're almost done. The big question I always get asked is when? When will Angular 2 be ready? We really wanted to come up here and say we're at beta. We're not quite there. But we're really close. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. We've actually been working on Angular 2 with a bunch of teams in sight. But from the outside, we were like, sure, yeah, no beta, yeah, it's cool, it's cool. But from the inside, we were like, This is how we felt. Um, so I want to re review this emotional journey. And so we had three emotions. We had excitement, we had panic, and we had impatience. And I'd like to address the Angular team now. And just look at these strong emotions. Um, basically what they mean, I know we can be annoying sometimes and ask these pesky questions about when it can get released and stuff like that, and I know I can be annoying sometimes with these talks, uh, but um, think of it like this. Um, these emotions mean that we actually care, okay? So uh, we actually care about what you're doing, and um, basically we believe in you. And um, well, I, I believe in you, and all this uh, ng-conf uh, attendees uh, believe in you, and all the people uh, watching all over the world now, over, I think, 30,000 uh, believes in you, uh, believe in you. And so I don't know if you get the chance to actually uh, feel it and think about it while you are busy working countless of hours. So. I, I'm sure that uh, soon you will start getting uh, love uh, tweets. Uh, I don't know how, okay? But uh, <laughs> we'll start getting some love and some support uh, over your hard, hard work making Angular 2 a reality. So uh, let's make 2016 the year of Angular 2, finally. And um, yeah, and let's not stand on the sidelines and like I said last year, uh, we can do a pull request, but I know 99% of the people don't have the time to, to create one, so we, we can just uh, vote plus one or minus one on things like pipe pipe, and, uh, <laughs> uh, and just participate and help uh, make it a reality. Um, so i like to thank uh, my friends, uh, Alon Heller, and my friends from the uh, JavaScript Israel community who helped me prepare for this talk. And um, I was, uh, I'm Shar Resnick from HiRes.io, and this was The Angry Show.